This is a thermocouple. It's made up of two small wires of different alloys so that it produces a little bit of an electrical difference, a little bit of a voltage difference where they're joined together. It also produces a little bit of a voltage difference over here where they join back together through this meter to, uh, to a different metal. Now this thermocouple will actually show a voltage on this circuit with no external power source if the temperature of this end, the measurement end, is different from this end, the cold junction end or the reference end. So if I squeeze it between my fingers, the voltage goes up. But notice that's not a very high voltage. So this thermocouple has a really low sensitivity. And that's something we're going to need to think about later on when we try to actually make measurements from a thermocouple. Now, thermocouples come in different types depending on the kinds of metals. And for type K, the sensitivity of the thermocouple is about 0 0.04 millivolts per degree Celsius. So that's a really tiny difference in temperature. Now we can heat this thermocouple up and measure the change in voltage on the multimeter. And if I heat it between my fingers, it's a warm day here, so between my fingers it's only about 3 degrees warmer than it is out in the air because it went up by about 0.04 times 3 to about 0.12 millivolts. Even with this really good multimeter, that's a hard voltage to actually keep track of. It takes a little while to cool down afterwards. We're going to do some more detailed work with thermocouples in a later lab, but for today I just want you to try this out with your fingertips and measure how warm you think your fingertips are compared to room temperature. Now if you want to try something more, you can rub the end on a piece of paper. Friction produces heat. So that thermocouple is now about 10 degrees warmer than the surrounding air, but it's coming back down towards room temperature pretty quickly. If you happen to have a lighter in your pocket, you could try something even more substantial and warm it up even higher. Now we're getting up to over 12 actual millivolts. So 12 millivolts, 4 millivolts would be 100 degrees Celsius, 12 millivolts would be 300 degrees Celsius. This little torch generates a fair bit of heat. So don't worry about trying your lighter just to, to see what will happen with that thermocouple bead should be fine, should be interesting.